Hello everyone and welcome back to Quadrilateral Cowboy. I am Exorf and uh, we uh, have just finished all of the uh, Clinique and the Repulse Bay missions and uh, now we're heading into some villa of some kind. I'm not sure I agree with your method of sorting stuff here. <laughs> Everything is mis misc miscellaneous mis miscellaneous i've never actually known how to pronounce that that word uh, you're working on some stuff here i mean everything is built already this, these don't seem to contain much so i don't know if you actually have to bother with that but all right cool uh, so let's see what this villa is all about guru meditation uh device offline okay Valencia Villa. The missions now are Timber Big, Woodworm, and Master Wiggle. I'm assuming I'll have to do a lot of blinking this episode since last time we got a program that allows us to execute commands by blinking, which is just about the coolest thing ever. Uh, I can't wait to use it. So let's head into Timber Big, where we acquire the Loft Vault. Where are we now? Oh. So this is the extraction point over there. Can we... Yeah, we can probably crawl inside here. Do we want to do that? Can we, like, crawl around and just take... Uh, try to use this... Um, data jack? It just allows it to turn things off for three seconds. I don't even know where the lasers five are. So, sure. Where are we now? Oh, that's probably lasers five. All right, I went too far inside. Uh, I'm guessing this is the loft deck then. Um, where we want to go with that. Oh, ah, goddammit. I'm just trying to look. We probably want to push things through these lasers. Uh, is this a door that can be opened then? Yeah, it can. Does it stay open? Sure seems that way. Can we just walk outside? It seems that way as well. But we do need to go inside to be able to push the vault out. So I believe what I want to do is to... Um, oh, oh, not exactly what I want to do, but this actually works just fine. Um, let's check into Telnet. And uh, get... A Dear of all the... Huh. So what? We can't actually... Turn off the lasers from here? Wasn't there a laser 5? There is. But you can't... Huh. I don't know what's up with that. But I guess uh, you can actually access it even though you can't find it with the dear, com dear command. Um, Right, so... Let's connect the lasers off three to um, our blinking. Blink. Let's do it on just one blink, I guess. Um, laser five off for three seconds. That's it. Let's see if we get this to work. Um, Oh, that was two blinks. But that didn't actually turn off the lasers. Huh. Is it actually that you need to... That works. But it doesn't give you enough time. So it's the thing that I want to do... 
to put my weevil on one of these. And then connect to the data jack. That's pretty cool. I wish there was an explanation for why I can't access the, the commands of laser 5 from here. But still. That's, uh... Huh. That's actually really neat. <laughs> Uh, so let's uh, leave this thing, exit, connect to our weaver, um, and uh, how exactly do you do this? You, I mean, I guess it's data jack one. So what we want to do is just connect data jack one to um, to our blink, I guess. Which is data jack zero? I think it's data jack one. Okay, that didn't actually work. Huh. Okay, so. Maybe we want to actually try to do the data jack when we get around next time. We can see what sort of data jack we're... Searching for data jack, found that. Okay, so it's probably zero then, I guess. Yeah, definitely zero. I should probably figure that out, but... Right, waiting for it to come around again. All right, and here we go. Two, three. That was probably not a very good idea of me. We probably need to push it. We can't, uh, oh well, we can just wait for it to come around again. <laughs> I thought I was be would be able to push it all the way out there in time, but I guess not. Two, three, hey, and we are out. Objective complete. Awesome. I want to grab my stuff, and then we are out of here. I think. Awesome. Yeah, I can see that uh, that tool leading to a lot of interesting scenarios. Um, it's possible we'll see one of those scenarios right now in Woodworm, where we acquired the library vault. Nothing new around here, right? All right. So, library vault, eh? That means we can't even get inside here. There's a data jack here. It allows us to open windows. And it looks like it's a permanent thing. I would assume that we just want to like open all of them then. Is that uh, something that we're going to be shooting or do we want to place our weevil on top of this or something like that? Huh. I guess we will find out. Why well, we want to leave our um, deck over there as we go inside here and start checking out the general area. Can we actually access these la laser now then? Or do we need to like send our Send our weevil inside for any of this to work. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I'm constantly pressing those uh, buttons hoping that it will do something new this time around. And they never do. Um, we could drop our weevil inside. Is there anything around there that will help us out? wonder if this spinning things will have anything to do with anything. Are buttons there? 
that uh, we could potentially press with some sort of... Yeah, I guess that's probably what I want to do, eh? Pla place the... Um, this thing here. And... Uh, try to aim at those... Um, those buttons. We need to figure out how to... We need to be able to both press the that thing and press the button for that thing. I'm guessing it's a timed thing as well, so this could be a bit tricky, but I really like where this is going. I want to just have a good idea of what's happening there. Uh, exit, go to aimbot. And um, deploy. And start to aim. Yeah, that looks about right. How much for getting to the next one then? It's way too much. That looks just right. So which one is the entrance and which one will lead us up? That's the entrance one. Let's try to fire from here. Oh, I should probably... Let's try it again. Yeah, so it does turn them off. But only for a brief second. Wait, did I pick the... Yeah, I picked the deck up. <laughs> so uh, what we want to do is to... Uh, blink. One. Oh. For fire. Blink. Two. For pitch. 0.5. And actually you blink three for pitch minus zero point five. So if I'm correct now, we should be able to do this. Oh. There we are. All right, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, blink one for fire then. Let's hope this works out. And we wait for this thing to allow us. Damn it. To, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> I felt like it was a close call. I hope that's it. I hope I don't have to do even more stuff. There is the vault. I'm not finding the vault. I am not finding the vault. <laughs> this Kurchki with lanolin glow. More than hard before using. I suppose we can. Perfect. <laughs> this is so stupid, and I love it. But where on earth is the vault that I'm looking for? Is it supposed to be in the library? Is it downstairs? Did I just stupidly not notice it? This feels like the library, but there's no vault here. Is it hidden somewhere? I'm 
What is going on here? Maybe this is time for no clip. That's where we were. That's the loft. Oh, it's in there. So it is hidden. I just need to figure out how to actually get access to it, I guess. Now, how will we do that? Is it just a secret door? Do you need to... Yeah, so I'm almost assuming now that you need to... That you need to use the, um, the no clip to find that. Can we stash these? <laughs> Ah! Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, so we just stashed it. That's awesome. How to get out then without triggering the alarm? We want to blink thrice, right? Uh, that's the entrance. And we are out of here. That was an awesome mission. Holy crap. I really like that. Done. Awesome. Huh. Yeah, so you know what? Let's just do the third mission as well. Now that we're we're on a bit of a roll right now, so let's do it. Let's do it good. Acquire the bedroom vault. So guessing things are generally set up the same way. I mean I didn't actually have to get up there before. Uh, but now I do. Let's do the no clip. No clip. No clip uh, thing again. That's where we have it this time around. Huh. And how on earth... What's this even connected to? I guess this is some sort of secret wall then? Or you need to click the right... Uh, flower or something like that? Turn it upside down? But then you will... Trigger this thing, this thing, and need to run the crap out of there. Uh, which will basically be like blinking at the exact right moment. You can actually turn off the rotation here. Okay, I did not really like that. That will make that a lot easier. Then you can pretty much rely on your uh, muscle memory for, for figuring out when to press the buttons. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Well, let's set everything up the same way we did last time. I kind of wish you could do a practice run or something like that. But I don't want to have to set all of this up again. That's, that's the only big concern for me right now. Um, so if I do that, and those things are going to turn off, and then do twice. And we wait for these things to allow me access there. Try again. And that thing's turned off three times. And we go back to the first one. Right, I think we can do this. And uh, we want to turn these things off while I actually have access. Okay, that makes everything a lot easier. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, so twice to go to the next one. That was stupid. And uh, thrice to go back to the first one. Okay, so now we have access to both of them. Go back up. Fire. And uh, let's try to find access to... That's it. Alright, so, what we want to do now is blink once, then blink thrice, then blink once. That's the way we get out of here. One, three, one. I am so going to mess this up really, really badly. How on earth are you supposed to get out of here in time? 
Well, okay. Yeah, I guess I kind of screwed that up by <laughs> by uh, triggering the alarm, but... How on earth are you supposed to get out of there quickly enough? That felt like the quickest possible way. Unless you can, like, fire on the glass and... Break it, but... That does not seem likely. Or can you? I don't think so. And I'm not gonna find out. But why else would you want to open this thing? Um, hmm. I don't actually know how we were supposed to do that in a faster way. But we finished it. I'm going to be happy with that. So we are going to head on the shopping expedition in the next episode. If you enjoyed watching this one, then please leave a like, subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on Quadrilateral Cowboy. Bye bye. Our okay. friends have decided to join us. Hoshumadi, welcome. Let them arrest us. Let them beat us. Let them jail us. They are our brothers in wolves' clothing. This is a peaceful This assembly. is our democratic right. We've done nothing wrong. Oh, I hope this isn't the, um, the Black Friday. We're all supposed to be on the same side. We're all countrymen. This could get violent. Yes, it could.